Malakuziev was able to solve the fleet-footed puzzle of O'Reilly in the previous round in the, in the semi-final, which was a bit of a surprise how well he did handle the Irishman. Hit. Very different sort of puzzle in front of him in the shape of uh, Cuban switch hitter. And you'll see Lopez starts off in the southpaw stance. Yeah, and Melakuziev straight away landed a solid jab. Both of these guys punched with a bit of authority. And there's lovely work from the Cuban. Great head movement to avoid the shot and then spun Melakuziev round. Uzbek just landed with his own sort of right hand there. And the scorecards reflect that. It was tight, it was close, but Lopez may be doing the better work from halfway. Brought in during these championships, referees keep to have the boxers coming forward in the appropriate manner to avoid cuts. It's uh, been hugely successful so far. Great Britain's Daniel McFarlane, the one in there in the middle. Lopez doesn't need to go looking for Malakuzia when he's backpedaling because for me he's winning the round and he's having his most success in situations like that there when Malakuzia's on the attack. He's been picked off a little bit, the Uzbek. Lopez in front on the scorecards all the way through the two rounds so far. Cuba came here with ten boxers represented in every division. Six of them have managed to get to the final. Already oh, one oh, for oh, one oh. with the golds. Lopez trying to make it two on the night. Yeah. Just been a little one step ahead of Melakuzi having the first two rounds, but for me the Uzbek is winning this one. And there goes the final bell. The winner on points and 2015 75 kilogram world middleweight champion from the red corner representing Cuba, Arlen Lopez. Well, Arlen Lopez has been something of a slow burner. It took him four attempts to win the national title back home in Cuba. That reflective of the depth of talent they have there, but this guy has got bundles of it.